What's the move here for Sunak? Why bring back David Cameron? Good question, and that's the question that conservative lawmakers are asking themselves today as well. I hesitate to use the word extraordinary to describe a day in British politics. <laughs> we often do that as journalists, sometimes a bit over the top, but this really was an almost unbelievable day. Nobody predicted the return of former Prime Minister David Cameron to frontline politics, really brought back him from the cold seven years after he lost the Brexit referendum. Now he's Britain's Foreign Secretary. This is a really curious move by Sunak, it has to be said, in terms of his political strategy, which is being questioned by his own side. He's reset his government over the last few weeks, moving to the right with a series of sort of pairbacks of net zero policies and ramping up of quite inflammatory rhetoric on culture war issues. Now he's brought back in David Cameron, a kind of centre-right politician, very much not the sort of Suella Braverman-style figure that we've had in the government recently. Braverman gone, setting up a huge clash with his own right wing ahead of a general election likely next year. Yeah, the, the best thing I've seen, our, our producer Kate Harley flagged this us with Sky's coverage of saying, I wonder who's in that car, and then just the absolute bewilderment that it's David Cameron that steps out at number 12. So, so this is a shift to the centre, but does it help the Conservatives? Does it help Rishi Sunak next year? It's a good question, and to be honest, it's the disunity that could be the problem. He has got Suella Braverman outside of the tent now, his former Home Secretary, who's been ousted. He's got Liz Truss, the former Prime Minister, short-lived, but also outside the tent, sniping from the sidelines. He's got Boris Johnson, another former Prime Minister, not very happy with him. He is building up enemies on the right of the party, he's building up enemies from other people that he's sacked today in his reshuffle. That is going to lead to headlines over the coming days, weeks, months of more Tory splits, which never go down well with voters. In terms of the Cameron appointment, yeah, it looks like a move to the centre, absolutely. Is that where the votes are, though, in this country for the Tory party? The Tory party won in 2019, winning a lot of working-class pro-Brexit votes in the north of England. Some Tory lawmakers today are saying that Richard Sunak's turned his back on those people by bringing back the leader of the Remain campaign yeah. during Brexit.